The stature of the Wilson Airport has been growing steadily as it supports the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and handles a good number of domestic flights. But there are fears of imminent dangers facing the 76-year-old Wilson Airport. Over time, the southern boundary of Wilson Airport has been encroached upon with buildings and estates coming up and being developed by private developers. This filling station is located right in the middle of the airport and according to the chairman of Wilson Airport Aircraft Operators Committee, Gad Kamau, this could well be a disaster waiting to happen. They should be in an area where they are isolated in case there's a fire break, they can be controlled. Mm. Concerns are also growing over the apparent diversification of land use within the airport. The... Just a few meters away from the airport are beautiful residential houses, which pilots say are a chilling nightmare during landing or takeoffs. So you are coming into land, you are flying over houses, over built up areas and that kind of thing. And it is basically every pilot's working nightmare. Because one day you ask what happens if you have an engine failure. In the whole of East and Central Africa, Kenya is the only country that boasts of having an international airport supported by a local airport right within its capital. And that is Wilson Airport. But that may soon come to an end if the human encroachment that you're seeing right behind me keeps on coming closer to this airport. And at the end of the takeoff runway is an upcoming slum. This is known as a flight funnel and provides a pilot with room to maneuver an emergency landing if necessary. But in this case, it has also been encroached. And there lies the story of the Wilson Airport, as all hopes are placed on the authorities to act, at least before it is too late. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV.